was, was into it. And at the same you, time, you people the are hitting me up. Yeah. Other artists and certain men that are like, that have YouTube channels so on their camera. The way man. I see it is like you, like, on a business level, even with the music thing, you were very methodical because you're already thinking about targeting a market. It wasn't about business, though. No, but, but, but you were thinking about your market yeah, though, for yeah, your music. Yeah. That's what you have. There are people who get paid doing that. For artists now, targeting targeting markets, and you were on that, and that's part of the reason why you went out there. Well, you know, those times in Toronto, though, it was there's another thing that we were told is that you couldn't ever make it from here, you know. So at the first chance I had to do anything different, out of the out of out, 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 out of the, the 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 bucket mentality, you yeah, had to you yeah. had to get out of it. Yeah. I always say, you know, if 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 you allow the city limit to limit your thinking, then it's gonna be like that, but. Got to think further than the city limit. Mm -hmm. and, and you could do that from then, home physically. You could yeah. physically be nowadays, here. especially. Think, yeah, especially. nowadays, especially. Yeah, especially connect with so much people. You know what I mean? And then, and then, and then I think you're one of the. You know, I mean, there's older cats that hip hop heads that went to the states and whatnot. But as far as going to UK, it, for your era, you were one of the first ones, no? Like, like to really venture out there oh, bro. from Toronto, bro. To keep it a stack. I don't think I know another artist that left Toronto with no buzz in Toronto to go somewhere else and make a name for himself in that place. I didn't know an artist to do it before. The only one is a man that would do it in America. And the only man that really done it in America really was Drake. And he yeah. was just starting at those yeah. times. But you see, like, literally what I, like, get you up You know what, when I, went to, when I went to, sorry, took. Cut, cut you up. <clears throat> right before I went to the pen, I went to Florida. And funny, I don't know if you, Cardinal, official. So I was out talking to the man I'm out there. I'm like trying to get a feedback of what they, what they, they know like. about. Yes, then the Cardinals, what they like. And what specifically they liked about him was that melting pot twang. Because it's Florida. They yeah. know about the guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. So they did, you know what I mean? Well, that's so, a man too. They had love for him in in London too. Enough yeah. back then, that yeah. was who more people knew about. But they didn't again, know Drake he's Canadian. like he's another before you guys, before you and Dre Bars, he's another guy that for sure could have done dance off. For sure. And he did do it. Yeah. He did Soka. Yeah. Every caravana he had something that he's putting out there, you know? So yeah, yeah. But you know, even those guys, I used to look at them and be inspired by I was inspired by anyone doing it. I wasn't inspired by fame or money. I was inspired by, like, that someone they, they, actively they're doing, doing it. They're doing it. That Danny O was saying that, like, when he saw Maestro, because he did, he was in, he entered a contest with Lindo P early on. Up Lindo P. Yeah, yes. he did a contest on Electric Circus, yeah. and um, he, Maestro was there, mm. and Maestro was a bigger man for him. But just being a young youth and seeing Maestro, and apparently from the performance of Maestro on at the electric circus, he got signed. So he said, seeing that process happen right before his eyes, uh -huh. he was like, yo, I know exactly what I got to do now. That is crazy to see at those times as well. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know? to see that. He's like, what? That's what's going on? It could happen? Mm -hmm. So, Definitely. So for you doing what you did, you inspired a lot of people. Maybe they don't come well, out and I'm, saying it. I'm sure with the... Because there's a lot of people that's going to UK now from Toronto. Like, it seems like when that's our second home now. You know what I mean? <laughs> Bro, it's crazy. You feel what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of traffic going back and forth. Bro, I remember people looking at me crazy. You know, I'm like, man, what are you doing out there? But that's how it is when you're an innovator. Yeah. You, you have to be looked upon as crazy. Who's gonna agree with you right yeah, away? Yeah. Like, come on. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what you are, innovator in that in that, in that regard. But you know, I'm, I know the, uh, Daniel would probably agree too. Like, for my generation and his generation, the dream started at the studio. The dream was to be in a studio. The dream wasn't to be... Because that's the gym. Famous. Yeah, that's the, the gym. The dream was to be in the studio, you know? And that's what I used to dream of. I used to dream about being an artist, you know? So when I, as I've grown into an artist and, you know, been out, you know, doing my career, mm -hmm. I've, been, I've, I've been really appreciative of just being fam of just doing it, like, you know? Um, Stick Matter. That was like your first official album, no? 
depends on what you mean by official. I would say my first official album was Mal Maison, which came out 2012, two years before. Okay, 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 okay. And that's, that was my favorite one before the one I just put out. Orphan Black? Yeah, Orphan Black is my favorite now. But okay. Mal Maison was my what, favorite. Before. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And I had a couple projects before and in between, you know? Huh. i never little, seen little that. Things. i never seen that yeah. project. Mal Maison is like... i never seen that project because I've been, you know, naturally when I have a guest on the show, I'm going to study... And I've been studying. I don't. That one's not on streaming or nothing. It's only on YouTube and stuff. Cause that was. So I probably know some tracks from it, but I don't know the actual album. There right? wasn't really streaming those times, right? So what I what what I used to do was I had a a, a link on my website, okay. and we would track it that way. Okay. That got twenty thousand plus downloads, which was like wow, you know. So wow. okay, okay, okay. So but then after that was stigma. Stigmata was the one that was. In stores and yeah, you, on iTunes official. and stuff like that. You had physical yeah. CDs. Yeah. You did, know. did you draw too? Did you do the artwork? No, 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 no. Oh. no. We got an artist to do that. That's dope. Yeah. I love it. I was, well, I was looking at it and I like, that, that person did this shit. You know? They did what they're supposed to do. Yeah, no, they facts, did. facts, facts. Did. facts. So if you have a chance, look at the cover. I, bro, I'm actually right. so proud of all my, my artwork for all but my But the new albums. one too is sick. Amazing. I love all it. From, <laughs> all from Black? I love it, yeah. It's sick. I'm really proud of all of my artwork, man. You know, that's one kind thing of reminds I me of on. one of Ye's cover album. I know. Well, that's kind of like where I got a bit of the inspiration yeah. from too. Was you like can to see create it. like a mascot. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and that's yeah. what the whole koala. Yeah, I thing. do. I, 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 yeah, I, I, I dig it. I dig it. But yeah, you put all stick matter, and you actually got that on power on the show power. Yeah, 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 yeah. How did you? Like you, you have a manager, or you, this is what you like. Cause it seems like this is what you've been doing. You've been doing it on your own. No, well, I put that album up with a label. Um, they they're based out of LA and London. Okay. And uh, they have an in-house. You know, they they go out and look for syncs for you and stuff. They have they have the things. They yeah, do what they so, do, bro. It was like three years later after the song came out that they came and said. Oh, yo, they want to use it for power. You know, I just completely forgot about that because, but, you know, that was, bro, that's another one that I was, like, proud of, too. You know, like, I don't know if you've seen the video for the title oh, for track, sure. Stigmata. Like, well, for sure, that, for sure. It's very I, cinematic. There's very few videos that you could show me coming from Toronto that, are, that to me, are that good. Your hockey you know? video and your, your Stigmata video are very cin- cinematic. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for very, sure. Very, very cinematic. For sure. If you have a chance, check those videos out. So I also feel like even that, you know, a lot of things is timing and mm-hmm. how things happen. Like I know that at the end of my journey, you know, when I leave this earth, I know that I'm leaving things to be proud of and things for my son to be like, yo, my dad, he was sick. Let me show you about my dad. Let me tell you about my dad. You know, now that I have a son, that's a, a really big part of it for me. You know, Straight. how old is your son? My son is turning three in January. Okay. 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 So. How is that for you having a child? Great, it's the, it's the best thing I ever did, ever. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's the, it's, bro, it's made me like the best person that I, that I've ever been to. You know, you and the mother are together. You still? No, no, no. But you guys co-parent together. Yes, 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 okay, yes. Okay, and that's and, positive. Yeah, and it's going well. You know, like so my son has grown into a great. When Daniel was here, he was talking about the difficulties he has with the mother of his. I saw that. Yeah. So, what advice? What, what worked for you that, that made it, even though you guys are not together, what worked for you? What do you, what do you see? Because you're around the man, what do you see? And you know, you hear stories. Mm-hmm. What do you see that you did different from the other man? Yeah. Okay. Bro, there was a man, I watched him. I watched him, like, while my son, while I'm coming into being a father for the first time. And, like, while I'm, bro, I watched him, like, his whole situation crumble can't see his kids and etc cetera, etc cetera. and between watch seeing that and the readings i would have with my pops this is the first thing bro like my son has taught me serious self-control it's very hard to get me very angry now you know it's very hard because you know what's on what's, what's what's on the line yeah and my thing is you know when you see them express a little that frustration that they can't control it just ugh, they get Bro, that kind of scares me because I know what it could turn into, and I know as, that as, I can't. As they grow older, I know that I can't teach him what I'm not. I can't tell him, yo, know, self control and Ray Ray, and I. We're, we're not exemplifying in that. Exactly. So you know that's a big thing that he helped me, that my son helped me learn, 
and that I think the man that need to learn because not because we're wiling out and whatever, but just even, you know, microaggressions between you and the balance. mother. Yeah. And between whoever, it's like you there's nothing you can gain out of arguing with the mother of your child or the father of your child, depending man or woman, you know? Child's already here. There's so everything's signed and sealed already. Right. You know what we can do, though? We can figure out what's the best for the kid right now and what's the best that we can do right now, you know? So, and as, bro, whatever, it doesn't matter what's happening between you and the, and the child's mom. If you are putting the child first, both of you, everything will be fine, you know? Communication and, is key. And, 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 and is I key. really believe that, you know? So... That's good to know. That's I see a lot I'm of happy, them. I'm, I'm happy for you. I'm, you know, I'm happy, more importantly, for your son because he benefits from that. Exactly, exactly. Like, a lot of people don't realize it because parents get all selfish and becomes tunnel vision and it's like it's like a, a beef thing between them two. It's like, the child's right there watching yeah, this world. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, when I, mean? I'm, I grew up around so much people that were baby fathers and baby mothers and I saw how they dealt with it. I saw how things played out, the dynamics, and I've seen a lot of it firsthand. I know a lot of the mistakes you can make, you know? So luckily for me, I had my son at 25 years of age, 26 years of age, you know? So you're mature, because they say that uh, you don't fully mature till you're 24. Yeah, and I definitely wasn't mature before then, mm -hmm. you know? And we still, and it's not to say after 25 you're, you're done. Fully, yeah. No, I mean like, you know, like you, you have a grasp of what's really going on and that's where the whole not getting angry because you know what's on the line because I was 22 and pretty much sacrificed my daughter just for my own agenda and ego you know what I mean yeah. and I paid for that just not, be, not being there you yeah. know what I mean so you know, I'm still paying for the blowback of it you know but it is what it is you know but yeah yo, so that's dope you know that, that, that you have a son and you're doing your thing with your son you know what's your favorite thing you like to do with your son Favorite thing I like to do with my son, right now I'm loving playing in the snow with him. Like he's just he, he's so happy. You know what's so it, funny? You know? <laughs> I'm laughing because my my empress she's originally from Winnipeg, so she grew up around a lot of snow. It's not to say we didn't get snow. No, yet, but, but they have the real snow. I know about out there. Yeah. So, and she wants she wants to get to bargain to bargains for them to go sleds go sledding. And mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, man, like. I never did that as a youth. Cause no. I was no, cause I was like, yo, that's madness to me, yo. Like hurling, I was on that. Hurling down the hill, yo. Yeah. Nah man. Yeah. There's certain things I as a teenager